Limitless participants. The purpose of this video is to provide some clarification on submitting results. Scroll down and click on Submit Results. And then we're going to fill in all the required information. Your email address is the email you used when you signed up. Your order number can be found in your confirmation email, in your shipping email, or if you're having trouble finding it, you can send me an email. First and last name. Now everybody knows my age. And then we're going to agree to submit a GPS track or a photo of the treadmill to be eligible for awards and that your activities are publicly accessible. Everybody's going to be choosing Limitless 7 Day and then you're going to choose how you completed your gain, whether that was 100% on trail, road, or otherwise outdoors, or rather that if that was indoors on the treadmill, climbing stairs, or if like me, you did a combination of the two for your workouts. And then we're going to go to finish time and distance. So first off the time, this is gonna be from the start of your first workout to the end of your last. This is including time that you might stop to eat, get dinner, to work. It's gonna be the total time that you're completing workouts for this challenge. So we have this link to help you calculate that. So I'm gonna use two examples here um, from runs that I've done. The first one took place on Monday, May 25th at 4.55. So I'm coming in here, choosing Monday at 4.55 p.m. The second run took place on Tuesday at 7.34 p.m. However, that was an hour and 51 minute activity. So then the time of completion would be 9.25 p.m. So I'm gonna come in here, choose Tuesday, and it's going to be 9.25 p.m. I'm going to show the difference. And so my total time is going to be one day, four hours, 30 minutes, and zero seconds. So back on our results submission, we said it was one day, four hours, 30 minutes, and zero seconds. It's very important that you are using this format for submitting your time. Even if you don't have any seconds, you still have to put the colon with the seconds. If I were to enter this as 10430 without these two zeros at the end for seconds, it would count that as hours, minutes, seconds, rather than days, hours, minutes, and seconds. So I've seen a couple submissions like that. Um, next up is going to be your final distance. So I had a 3.68 mile run and then I had a 3.16 mile run. So my total distance over the two runs is going to be 6.84 miles. And then next up is my cumulative ascent. Again, if you're resubmitting, this needs to include all elevation gain from all of your workouts. So for me, I have one that's 2,915 feet and then I have another that is 1,506 feet. So my total cumulative ascent is gonna be 4,421. That's feet for me. Oops, sorry, no comma there. And then finally, I'm going to link my public workouts. So first will be my treadmill. And then I can hit enter and I can submit as many other workouts as I have. Um, if you're resubmitting your workouts, you don't necessarily need to link all of your prior results. I'm able to see those on the back end for verification. So as long as you're updating your cumulative miles, vert, and time, you don't have to necessarily resubmit these links. So now I'm going to hit submit and then I can use this link to pull up our results page. From there, I'm going to scroll until I find my name and I'm going to verify that all of these results are correct. And then the last thing I can do is click get it 
and that's going to bring up all of the virtual badges that I've unlocked. Um, as I mentioned, there is a delay in seeing these results. Um, so it does say that up here at the top. Um, if you notice anything missing or inaccurate, just resubmit any corrections. And then again, there is a delay. This might be up to 20 or 30 minutes. So I would ask that you please just give it even one or two hours before you reach out to us with your results not posting on here. If after that time you still aren't seeing them, double check your formatting and then go ahead and send me an email to reach out and we'll try and figure out together uh, why that's not posting to our results sheet. A couple other questions I've been getting in regards to submitting results. The first one is, when do I submit results? You can submit at any point in time if you want to access your virtual badges, if you want to get your name on our leaderboard to see where you stand, or if you just want to test to make sure that it's working for you. However, your final result will be based on your last submission, which is due on June 1st. Another question that I've been getting is in regards to logging your activities on a treadmill. So for me, I've been using Strava, so I can go to the plus sign in the far right corner, add a manual entry, and from there I can enter my distance, the duration, and my total elevation gain. However, if you tag this as a treadmill run, it will not show your elevation gain. So don't click the tag for treadmill. And then the last thing to do is to attach a photo of your treadmill screen for verification. The final question I've been getting is in regards to our Strava Club. So if you go to the Limitless Vertical Challenge Strava Club, if you haven't already joined, you are welcome to do so. The club leaderboard has been the source of a lot of questions um, asking why they don't see their names on here or how do they get their results up here. So the leaderboard only shows the top 100 participants and this is actually in the order of miles unless you go and change to elevation gain. However, even if you change to elevation gain, it's still going to be the top 100 people in terms of total distance. So because we have 434 members, there's only going to be 100 out of those members that show on the leaderboard. Unfortunately, we don't have any control over what is shown either on the leaderboard or in the recent activity. I hope that this video helps to clarify some of the questions. If there's another question you have that hasn't been answered, please don't hesitate to reach out. Good luck this week.